Hello, it's Mr. Bush here. Let's go ahead and recap what we learned last week. If you remember, our atoms are made of three different things. Electrons, protons, and neutrons. Sorry, electrons have a negative charge, protons have a positive charge, and neutrons have no charge, or zero. Alright, our atomic number basically determines the identity of the element, and it is the number of protons. The atomic mass is the weight of an atom, and it's going to be our, our protons and our neutrons added together, because protons and neutrons are the only subatomic particle with mass. All right, and our electrons are found in the electron cloud. We're going to look at this later on in the lesson. Basically, our electron cloud is made up into, di into different orbitals. These are called energy levels. Let's go ahead and look at that real quick. Electrons orbit at a set level around our nucleus, very similar to the way the planets orbit around the sun. All right, just in case I forgot to mention it, or energy levels are the same thing as orbitals. Now, on the periodic table, the period number determines the number of energy levels in an atom. Example, Everything in period 1 will have one energy level. Everything in period 2 will have two energy levels. Everything in period 3 will have three energy levels. You'll kind of see the pattern. The period number is the number of energy levels in that atom. All right, let's use these models um, to kind of demonstrate how the period determines the number of energy levels. If you look here on period 2, we have beryllium, and it has two energy levels. On period 3, we have magnesium, and it has three different energy levels. Here on period 4, we have uh, calcium, and it has four different energy levels. So, it's pretty simple. The period and everything inside, let's say period 5, will have 5 energy levels. Alright, the next thing we're going to look at is going to be valence electrons, and that's going to deal with just the outside layer of the atom. Valence electrons are the electrons that are found in the outermost layer of an atom. They're only the electrons here in the outside layer. So, uh, calcium only has two valence electrons. If you look over there, silicon has four. They're basically a valence electron determines how an element reacts because it's on the outside layer. It's going to be the first one to make contact with another element. Let's go ahead and look at the periodic table to determine how we figure out how many valence electrons each atom has. All right, the group number is determined by the number of valence electrons each atom has for that particular element. Example, group one, everything in here has one valence electron. Group two, every element in there, their atom has two valence electrons. Now, the transition metals, we'll learn about those later on. Group 13 will have three valence electrons. Group 14 will have four. 15 will have five. 16 will have six. 17 will have seven. And group 18 will have eight. If you notice, the little, um, the A, like 1A, 2A, 3A, 4A, that's determining the number of valence electrons. All right, this periodic table kind of demonstrates what I just told you, that every, sorry, every element inside the same group will have the same number of valence electrons. Example, everything in group 1 has 1 valence electron. Everything in group 2, 2, so forth and so on. All right, let's go ahead and look at a couple models of this. Now, if you look here, these are basically a Bohr model of hydrogen and lithium. They are both in group 1, and if you notice, 
they both have only one valence electron. All right, let's look at group two. If you see here, basically everything in group two should have two valence electrons. And let's go ahead and look at a couple examples. Beryllium, right here, only has two valence electrons. Magnesium, as you see, only two electrons in the outside layer. And calcium, also, only two valence electrons. All right, let's go ahead and move over to group uh, three. If you look here, boron has three valence electrons. Aluminum has three valence electrons. And I just want to point out one thing. A lot of students get confused and they'll think since it's group 13 that they'll have 13 valence electrons. Instead, look at the 3A right underneath group 13. That means it's going to have three valence electrons. And the same thing for group 14. It'll have four valence electrons, so forth and so on. All right, we're going to cover one last thing and then we'll be done. Alright, we just showed y'all that basically every element in a group has the same number of valence electrons. And we already mentioned that valence electrons determines how an element reacts. Therefore, every element in a group kind of reacts the same way. And this is why they're called basically families or groups is because they all react the same way. Example, beryllium is a flammable metal so is magnesium, and so is calcium. They all react in the basically the same manner. Alright, hopefully this was helpful, and y'all have a great day.